welcome students in my new tutorial and today i'll be teaching you how to add two numbers in python language it's very simple and for adding two numbers i'll be using variables so what is a variable firstly variable is a temporary memory location because computer does not remember any number or any alphabet or any string automatically. So it gives name to any temporary memory location as a variable which can store any number. So while attempting the program, I will be explaining side by side. So firstly, I will take one variable. But before that, I have to take a new file. I'll click on file and new file. So untitled, this I'll save afterwards. So first variable I'll take, that means the name of any temporary memory location. So I'm giving it the name as num1. And here I'm saving the any number, it can be any number, you can save any number. So suppose I'm taking number as four. Now I'm using another variable so this name i'll give as num2 now again this is a temporary memory location somewhere else and here i am storing 6 now i have to add these two numbers and for that i am taking or i am declaring one another variable and i am naming it to some meaningful name so I'll name it as total and here I'll add both these uh, variables. So here I'll use num1 plus num2 as I have told earlier these both are variables and these both the variables will be added to the total variable and after this I have to print the result to how to print the result now simple i have to use print command and in brackets or parenthesis i'll write total and after writing total i'll save the program suppose firstly we'll check how it runs so i'll click on file save and I'll save it under desktop students addition click on save so it's saved now it's very simple to run you know very well I have to just use f5 button function key You could see the result is coming 10. Again, I'll check the program what I have written here. See, in my program, 4 is saved in variable 1, that means num1 variable, and 6 is stored in variable num2. And the variable which I have named as total is adding both the numbers num1 and num2. And then I am printing, but it's not looking that meaningful. To make it more meaningful, I am doing some modifications in this program. And how to do that? Firstly, I'll type one line on the top. Print. Now I have to use some text, and for using the text, you have to use inverted commas. So I'll use inverted commas. So here program to add two numbers this will be printed and firstly I'll check it how it works I have to save it also okay now this program is looking little meaningful but still the simple result is not looking that good just to print the result or to make it more meaningful I can just do some more changes in this program what I'll do as I have written a print total, 
here I can write one statement the result of two numbers is equal to and then afterwards I can put inverted commas and just put comma afterwards just to concatenate means to add both I am adding the text and along with the text I am writing the variable that means total variable so that means that will be added and the result now will look more meaningful so let's check it firstly I have to save this program and now I will click on F5 you could see here program to add two numbers the result of two numbers is equal to 10 so now the program is looking more meaningful now continuing the same program now we'll be multiplying two numbers so this i'll be going a little faster because the basics are already clear to you as I have already explained while adding two numbers. So while multiplying, just I will be going faster, okay. Same way I will be taking your new file. Here I am using asterisk sign that means for multiplying I am using this sign star sign. So this sign is available where 8 is there on the top and for printing this sign you have to press the shift key. I will show you here. I hope you could see the sign where 8 is written that is the sign on the top and to use that you have to press the shift key this shift key you have to press and by pressing the shift key you have to press this 8 then this multiply sign will come I hope that is clear and now if everything is ok it should run but before that I have to save this So as a result, you could see that we are able to multiply two numbers, okay. So I will show you the program once again what I have done. I have used n1 variable to store 5 and n2 variable to store 8 and then both the numbers were multiplied and the result was given to variable result and uh, while printing you could see the result. If I will change the number then also that will be reflected I can show you here. Suppose I am taking n1 is equal to 9 and after saving if I will run this you could see now the new result. Like this I can divide, I can subtract that programs also I will do, I will be doing little faster. So now I will not speak in between. Uh, just uh, that tutorials will be little faster so that you can understood because the basics I have already made you understand. If everything is okay, this program should run properly. I will press F5 function key. You could see here the result is coming.
Now with this program, now I will be giving you some exercises that you have to try yourself. That exercises I will be giving in my next video. So with this I am closing my tutorial now and I hope everything should be clear to you.